Welcome back to another Construct video. In this video we're looking at one of my favourite mechanics from Super Mario Maker and that is the on and off blocks. Now the on and off blocks provide a way that you can have two different paths to go depending on which way the state's set. It also allows you to add some basic puzzles into your games as well. So let's get started on implementing this mechanic. First thing we need is we need three sprites. So we're going to start creating them now. First one is going to be called an on block. Now these are usually red, so I'm just going to grab a red here and just fill it in. I'm also going to rename this animation to on, and then I'm just going to duplicate it. And I also need an animation for off. Now for the off one, all I'm going to do is take the center of the block and just remove it, just leaving me the outline like so. Then on this on block, I'm also going to add the solid behavior. This just means when we duplicate it, we don't need to add it again. So we're now going to clone this, rename this to be the off block. And we're going to edit the animations. So this one's normally a blue sort of color. So I'm going to fill it in blue. And what I need to do is actually remove the center of this one, because this is what happens if this is on. So if this is on, we don't want to have this block on. This is going to be off. It's going to get a little bit confusing, but you'll see when we get it set up. And then when it's off, we want to see all of it, because it's now going to be activated. So make sure you've got those the right way around. So we've now got our off block. And what we'll do is we'll place this over here. We'll place the red one here on this side. Now we need a way to switch between them. So we're going to create one more sprite now, and this is going to be our on-off switch. So we'll call it that, on-off switch. Just going to place it, and the first one I'm going to fill in blue, and this is going to be called off. And normally there's a bit of text, so I'm just going to grab some white and just quickly write on top of it. Obviously, if you're doing a more professional game, you'd spend a bit longer on getting this text looking right. And then second thing we need is we need the on state as well. So I'm going to duplicate this, rename it to on. Now I like a bit of uniformity. So what I'm going to do is to get that red color, I'm just going to back out, edit this animation and use the eyedropper tool. And then I'm going to move back to the on and off block. And this will just save that color in my palette. So I can then go through and then I can use my white brush again to write the word on. Oh, and make sure you are on the right animation because I've got those wrong way around. So easy fix is I'm just going to rename both of those really quickly. So you should have two animations, an off animation and an on. Final thing we need to do this on and off switch is also add the solid behavior. This just means that we won't clip through it, it is still a block. And we can also resize this down to make this a little bit smaller. About there. And place this above my player. Now we can move to the event sheet, and this bit's not too difficult. So all we're going to do is add a global variable, and this is going to be a Boolean. And I'm just going to call this switch on. And by default, we'll put the switch on. And then first thing we're going to do is check if we're touching the switch. So we're going to save player is overlapping offset on and off switch and we're going to check for minus one so this just takes the on and off switch hitbox move it down by minus one so we can interact with it only from below and if we hit the switch we're just going to toggle the boolean switch on now when this happens it's possible that you can trigger this boolean more than once so what we're going to do is just add another condition under our system and we want this trigger once while true, just so that only happens once. Now we can set up our rules for turning it on and off and what happens inside the game. So we're going to say is boolean set switch on. And this bit's a little bit grindy, but it's not too bad to sort out. So let's start with the on block. We're going to set the animation to be on. We're then also going to go to our off block. And we're also going to set the animation to its on state. And we're also going to take our on and off switch and set animation to its on state. The second thing that we have to do is take our on block. 
and set enabled for the solid behavior and then take our off block scroll down and set disabled for our solid collision and that's it in terms of the switch being on all you can do now is copy and paste this we're going to invert this one we're going to change all these animations to be off instead of on so it's just a case of going through all of these and getting the right one and if you just press speech marks it'll give you a list of all your animations and then finally we're just swapping these rounds so now the on block is disabled and the off block is enabled and you can add other stuff to this you can have rotating platforms that only work when the on and off switch is triggered or doors that open and it's just a case of adding them to this side or this side so let's do a test so first of all, I've got this red platform here. It's solid. I can stand on it. I can move around it. This blue platform, I go through it. It has no collision whatsoever and switches on. Switch is off. Now the blue platform is solid, so I can stand on this. You see that if I stand on the top of the on and off block, I can't change it. I have to do it from underneath. The red block's now off. And I can just jump and I can change it again. It'll just flip between the two. So hopefully it's a mechanic that you can start thinking of some great ideas to add into your game. It's such a really easy one to implement, but you can take it really, really far. And if you have enjoyed this video today, maybe think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel where we do more mechanic-based stuff like this, especially around platform games. And I'll see you in the next video.